Very nice. And our wings just fell off. What? Hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. And we're going to do the mission, I think it's the week 7 mission, where we have to recreate the SpaceX Starship launch. And we're going to do the stretch. Okay, the primary is just to get it into orbit, and the stretch is to land it on the moon. And I'm thinking, let's go ahead and land it on the moon. So let me introduce you guys to the ship that I've recreated. And here it is. It is quite, it was quite an undertaking. As you guys can see, there's a tiny amount of frame drops and whatnot. There's a lot going on over here. Um, it, it was, this is, it was it, I wanted to have it to go to Duna. But due to actual in real life circumstances, I was not able to get anything out quickly. And I just sort of kind of gave up. But I decided like, you know what, let's do this. I designed this whole thing, as we can see, many rockets, boosters. And we will try to get this thing at least landed on the moon. Okay. That being said, this is the, the, the part from these wingtips upwards to there. That is going to be the part that is going to land on the moon. I did include parachutes. Uh, I don't know if that will be enough. To land back at Kerbin. Um, I, I don't know if we are going back to Kerbin. Not sure. But let's see what we can do. Anyways. Let's launch. Alright. Here we are at the launch pad. This looks magnificent. <laughs> I like how the sp stability assist is trying to keep us straight up. But yeah. Okay. Uh, everything looks... Like it's good to go. We have all the engines that's gonna go at the same time. In three, two, one, launch. Oh, big lag spike. Please point straight up. There we go. It sort of looks like it's going straight up. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're just gonna zoom out a little bit. Oh man, this is magnificent. Okay. It says off. And we want you to start turning to the... To east. And I'm just kind of fighting it so that we can stay at the 90 degrees. It's just going to make our lives a little bit easier. If not, it's fine. We can do the changes in orbit. Solid fuel is going to run out at any second now. It's lodged. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I think we've lost a few engines there. I'm, I think. I'm not sure. Okay. And I want you to start turning a little bit more aggressive. There we go. Actually, go towards the horizon. We don't have a lot of air resistance against us anymore. So far, so good. If this, if this was the real SpaceX mission, this booster stage would have been dropped a long time ago. And... There we go. Yeah. That has been done. And what we can do now is... Let's go ahead and dump this stage. We don't need it. To be honest. We don't need it. So let's go ahead and dump it. And then... There we go. Lovely. And I'm going to turn RCS on. And focus on Kerbin. Ooh, all the lags. And then right over here. Let's say create a maneuver node. And all we want to do is... We have a lot of Delta V, which we can play with. 
and burn. Can I have... I do have RCS on this thing. But I think I should have added more. To be honest. Okay, yeah, I think this is a little bit inefficient. There's certain, like, I added different engines in here. Three of them are for, like, space flight. The other is for, like, a little bit more like of a kick. Like, better in the atmosphere. But it's fine. Just keeping an eye on upper apsis, periapsis. We're coming up on... Two, three, four, five, six, seven... There we go. Nice. That's not too bad. And there's the moon right over there. Flap your wings, little one. And burn. All we're gonna do is now we're just gonna look at our orbit over here. Let it grow. And it just so happens that as soon as the moon rises and you burn prograde, it should hit the moon along the way. Our, pa our orbital path will encounter the moon. I just hope we have enough Delta V to get there. And land. I feel like I should have still used the bigger stage, but I wanted to drop the weight so that I don't carry it around. Okay. And... There we go. And we kind of want to land on one of these flat areas. Let's look at the moon. I want to see how it looks like. Oh! That is awesome. Yeah. Focus over here. I'm going to fast forward the time a little so that we can burn at the correct stage. And then once we orbit, we will land, then it should be mission complete. We can try to get back to Kerbin, I don't know. Okay, in 10 seconds we will fire all engines to slow down our speeds. And... 3, or oh, 4, 3, 2, 1... Burn. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay. Just wanted to keep it in that direction. Yes. Keep it in that locked position. We're just burning this way. Let's see how far are we... Let's just say... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, and then let's just burn a little bit more. There we go. It looks about correct. Okay, and now we are going down. Go ahead and extend our legs. Very nice. And our wings just fell off. What? Okay. How did they fall off? Is it because, like, the stabilizers, they move, the whole flap move? And I should have rather used wings? They don't move us around as much? We're just trying to cancel out the gravity, although 
there's very, very little gravity on the moon. But there's still some. Oh, looks like the leg might catch with that ledge over there. Which is not good. <clears throat> 300 meters away from the ground. Two fifty. Hundred and fifty. All right. This one's for you, Elon. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, never mind. Hold it. Hold it. And we have landed. SAS turned off, RCS, everything switch off. And we have done it. We have landed the starship on the moon. There we go. How awesome is that? A few hitches and whatnot. I just, the whole idea for this mission was actually to go to Duna, the equivalent of Mars. I had a refueler and everything ready to go, but by the time, like, like I said, in real life stuff happened. Um, I couldn't just, like, didn't want to take the chance. But yeah, I'm very happy this is here. A thousand, I wonder if we can get back to Kerbin, but nah. You know what? Nah, nah. I'm good. <laughs> We're good. Alright, people, with that, thanks so much for joining me here on Kerbal Space Program. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.